this replay of Bull Run, I am again using my simple written command system. It'll be interesting to see how it plays out. Turn 1. Early morning. In the early morning hours, Albert Sidney Johnson races forward from the Manassas Junction. If he has his way, he will reach Centerville, which is just off the map in his command tent. Mid-morning sees the arrival of Hunter and Heinzelman as they prepare to push across at Sudley Springs. Meanwhile, to the east, Albert Sidney Johnson prepares to cross at Mitchell's Ford. Late morning, the first clash of arms. Here we have Heinzelman and Hunter attacking across Sudley Ford. Because this is first bull run, and both armies look very similar with very similar uniforms, you notice that the two red Union blocks are attacking one red Confederate block. Ordinarily, this is not a big problem, but in the middle of the battle, it's very easy that you get confused and you end up moving or thinking you've got something covered and realize, oh wait, no, that's not right. That's the enemy. It works out really good, and I thought it wouldn't work at all, but it's not a huge battle, and you keep, you keep on top of it, you can figure it out. The other attack is Johnson coming across Bull Run at Mitchell's Ford. Now here we have Jackson's division. It's the only block on the whole map board for the whole battle that isn't militia. It seems like the elite block of the battle. You must be very careful about how and where you attack because the troops are really unreliable. Up here at Sudley Springs, both sides fell apart, but the Union had the bigger force. They are still there. Albert Sidney Johnson and Mitchell Ford. Stonewall Jackson's men are backing up militia troops under B. Both sides sustain losses, but Stonewall Jackson's brigade holds. It's early afternoon. Runyon's troops have come on, and Beauregard's troops have fallen back to Stony Ridge. Tyler's troops under Sherman have fallen back from Jackson's assault. Now it's mid-afternoon. Mid-afternoon, the Union Drive continues. Here on Stony Ridge, both sides lost two blocks. The Federal numbers proved out. Here on the Federal left, Stonewall Jackson's Iron Brigade strikes Sherman's troops. It's late afternoon. The South has lost three blocks. The North has lost four. The destruction of three more blocks for either army will break it. Here Beauregard's troops must first face Union Grape. The artillerymen lost heart and ran off without firing a shot. Now the Confederacy has lost four blocks. In the center we have Stonewall Jackson facing the New Jersey Volunteers. Jackson's Iron Brigade is lost. They couldn't do all the heavy lifting. They did drive the 4th New Jersey Volunteers back, though. Well, right next to them, the New Jersey Militia faces the screening troops. This time, the Yankees melted away in the combat. Early in the evening, both sides are near breaking. McDowell sends out orders to 5th Corps, desperately hoping they hear them. But that is not to be. McDowell links up with Heitzelman and Hunter. They get the orders. Press on east. In the early evening, Heinzelman's troops have been unable to trap and bring the south to ground. However, in, in the east, the last of the New Jersey volunteers, unvolunteers. And now we move into late evening. Both armies will break if they suffer one more casualty. In the early evening, Hunter's artillery opens up on the Confederate artillery. Early evening combat. Yule drives back the Union forces, but there's nothing left of his troops. Stewart's cavalry are no longer combat effective. Wait, they're elite. Yes, they are. They simply ride off. A northern detachment fights to the last man, pulling off Longstreet's brigade. And here in the west, at the end of the early evening turn, both sides have lost seven infantry blocks. Since both sides have broken at this point, I'm going to say that both sides declare victory and fall back from the battlefield. In other words, it was a stalemate. 
Now with pub battles, if you want to fight to the bitter end, you can do a night turn. In a night turn, you recover half your losses. Both sides will get four blocks back. Now this could, that could be for a very interesting game in this particular battle. But I'm worn down and tired. I'm going to declare it a draw. But I'm asking, what would you do? I'm going to do this. Good game.